Hi guys, Melvin here from Neuron Digital. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to customize the timber template using Android Studio. This is the second version of the template. The first version was using Eclipse. If you have purchased the file, when you extract it, you will see all these files here. So you have your graphics, your design files, some documentation. And this one here is the actual code that we need to import into Android Studio. To import it, just click on this button open Android Studio and just drag and drop the timber file into this window. Make sure you have your Android Studio logo here and click OK. To make it easier for you guys to make the customization, all the main files that need to be changed are already opened here. If not, you need to open them from the side menu here. Let's start off by changing the package name. Open Timber, Java. Also make sure that you have Android selected here, not Project for example. If it's on project, click on this arrow here and click on Android. We need to make sure also that we have the height empty middle packages unhighlighted. I'm just going to click to unhighlight it and we have the comb and Neuron Digital now separated. To change the package name, we just need to right click on Neuron Digital, refactor, rename, click on rename package, change Neuron Digital to your company name. For example, I'm going to write company and click on refactor. Click on do refactor here. And now we're going to do the same for timber, right click, refactor, rename. And here you're going to put your app name. So I'm going to just type in app name, refactor, do refactor once again. Okay, so we need now to open the build.gradle. It's already open, but if it's not, just go to module here, timber, and open it. And we need to change the package a name here to the same one that we used here. So company and instead of timber, we're going to put in app name. When that's done, open the strings.xml file from resolution values strings.xml. It's already open for us here. And from here, from this file, you can change all the major text. So we have your app name here, some other text which you can translate to your own language like the game over. Also we have the primary colors which you can change to your own colors if you like. And here you have your Edmob settings so you can put in your Edmob banner ID here and an interstitial ID here if you like to use ads in your game. If you like to change the frequency of the interstitial ads you can change this number here. This template also supports leaderboards. So if you wish to use leaderboards, make sure to create one from your Google Play dashboard and just put in the app ID here and the leaderboard ID here and the leaderboard should be activated automatically. When you're done from this file, you can open up maingame.java. You can open it up also from here. And from here, you can change more variables, for example, like the game over delay. You can change the score increment. So this is the score that is given to you every time the Timberman hits part of the tree. If you click on this blue dot here, you can see the next modification that you can do. For example, from here, you can change the fonts. Feel free to put in your fonts here. Also, you need to put the actual font file in the assets file here. So make sure these match for you. And you can change the font sizes from here. So for example, the 65 means that the title stroke is 65 dB. So that's all from this file. If you wish to change some graphics, you can do so from the drawable folder here. Here you have all your graphics. For example, you have your icon here. If you wish to change any of them, just copy and paste your new graphic to replace the ones in here. When you're done and you want to try out the app, just run the emulator on run it on the device. I have my emulator here and just press the play button here. As you can see, it is working on the emulator and we have the leaderboards disactivated. So we can exit it once again. Something else which I forgot to mention is how to change the audio because the included audio is just a placeholder. So to put in your own audio, just replace these files here. You have your music file here and other sound effects. So make sure to replace them. And when you're finished, just go to build, generate signed APK, and you need to follow this wizard here to create the APK file. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up. I will be posting more videos related to Android development. So if you like this area, feel free to subscribe to this channel for more content. Mm -hmm.